Lose yourself in a good book. The Board Gosh Energy Book Club. She may have become a writer in latter years, but Kathleen Watkins shows no sign of slowing down. She recently won her first ever Board Gosh Book Award for Children's Book of the Year with her book Piggine of Hope. But that's not all. Oh, no, it's not all indeed. Kathleen is taking that one step further and she has now been nominated for Book of the Year. So make no mistake, there's no stopping her now. Kathleen, you're very welcome back to Ireland AM. It's lovely to be here <laughs> with you again. And indeed, there was nobody more surprised than myself <laughs> to be nominated. And to be nominated and attend the Book of the Year Awards is just such a very special thing. It really is. I see your book be sliding out with all the, the others. It's absolutely fantastic. And of course, I feel none of this would happen without great sponsorship. Board Gosh sponsored that whole event, yeah. like the way Electric Ireland sponsored mm. the Fesh Kyol. What would we do without sponsorship? And I'd love to think that more Irish companies would take a page out of the book and sponsor um, all these very well special... Well said, Kathleen. Yeah. And that was the 11th year they've done it, so well done. Hats off to Borgosh. Indeed. Absolutely, yes. Kathleen, doing my bit of research, I was looking for other authors who had started writing um, should we say, after a certain age, right? Yeah. They are few and far between. Really? I, I find that Bram Stoker started writing at 50, well, Dr Dracula came out at 50. Uh, Laura Ingalls Wilder, Little House in the Prairie, she was 65, I believe. And then Frank McCourt was 66. So you've beaten all of them for your, I have your no debut. Idea. <laughs> I no idea. And it's all, it's all an accident. <laughs> but I do think of people to whom it would be of major importance to attend the Book Awards, mm. to be nominated. People have been writing for years and years mm. with no recognition. Yeah. I realise how lucky I am. It's just a lucky strike. There That's you are. You decide, oh, sure, I'll give this a go. And all of a sudden you're winning plaudits and awards all yes. around yourself. Yes. Kathleen, is, it, is, it, is there something in the combination of having perhaps more time, your own kids grown and have left the, uh, the house, and also being a grandparent? So you have that kind of real, obviously, beautiful closeness with grandchildren, but then you have a bit of distance as well, so it allows for perhaps some creativity? Well, I, I, I don't really know. It, it all happened accidentally, uh, starting telling the stories to Kean when he was in London. He was three. And then he never, ever said, um, tell me the story again about the pig going down the pier. He always just said, tell me another pig's story. So I was stuck. I was going on and on and on. It and almost happened against your will, Kathleen, <laughs> if I'm honest. Because you tell, yeah, there were the stories that you told. That book is an accident. And you, and you were like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to put them down in print. And people had to beg you to do it, essentially. Well, the thing is that there are dozens more. There are only a few in there, but there are dozens more. So maybe, maybe another book. Before you know. we go on with the interview, everyone at home is wondering, how was your other half? How, well, that's how very is nice gay? Because you people ask. are, and he mentioned that he, well, he on lyric he may he have made cancer. his announcement, and you know we have been overwhelmed with messages, and I mean the love pouring into our house, just nationwide. Yes, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you to everybody. People have been sending us notes and cards and mass cards and all kinds of things. People are so incredibly kind that somebody would go out, go into a shop and select a card and post it. It's just Well, he is, so much, he is much loved. Well, that, that's... <laughs> that's <laughs> evident. That, that, that's for sure. We, we, we wish him the very best. Thank and, you. I think we're speaking very happy to everybody you. in Ireland saying, saying that as well. Um, I just want to talk a bit about the, uh, the, the book itself and the, the illustrations. I mean, oh, the, so the, the story carries it, obviously, but then it's brought to life the way Roald Dahl we brought to life by Quentin yes. Blake. You've been brought With to life by, yes. yeah, by Margaret yes. Ann Sons. Margaret Ann did gorgeous little uh, illustrations. That's Piggy on the front and it's Donegal Tweed. Jack, it's McGee of Donegal. <laughs> Jack. There you go, and, it's a uh, McGee Jack. Very stylish like that. fellow. Yeah. Yes, yes. He's got no trousers uh, on, Kathleen. Outrageous. Well, he, well he's, uh, he's got his lovely trotters. <laughs> <to come out. laughs> now, as you said, this is only one of many tales you've created yes. for your grandchildren over yes. the years. So, does that mean there are many more tales to come? There are many more because I was talking to Sive and she said, my 10 year old granddaughter, and she said, What about when he went to London? When he actually did get on Aer Lingus and he went to London. Do you remember that story? Of course, if you were Lingus. That's something else. Yeah. Yeah. So they all have their own favourite tales. They do, ah. yes. yes. Kean remembers me coming and dropping my bags in London and not even taking off my coat and starting to tell him the stories, oh. you know. So I better mention Saoirse, I better mention Kate and Harry. They've all got a mention. They've all been name checked. You've done yes, your deed I've now. I've done my So are the thing. publishers on the phone going, OK, Kathleen, let's get going on the next one? Well, I think there's, there's talk of another one. So uh, 
Let, let's get Christmas over first. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I believe that it's starting to become something of... Uh, it's making Hoth even more famous than it has been already. Are there people doing little walks around Hoth and spotting the, po the, the places well, where Piggy was? People are bringing children out now to go down there. I want to see where Sammy C lives, mm -hmm. and I want to see Nicky's place, and I want to see uh, Hoth Castle, and I want to see all the places, because it is a very interesting place. It a is. special place, the peninsula, and there's so much to see. And Piggy's house is up there when it's kind of invisible, near the GAA grounds. That's where <laughs> his own little house is. You know. And are any of the characters based on people in real life, or is it all... Oh, that face said yes, no, Kathleen. No, well, <laughs> <laughs> no. Not that you're prepared to admit to. No, no, no. <laughs> but the badger, the badger, we actually saw a badger one morning. We were going to the airport at mm. 6 o'clock in the morning uh, in a taxi, and we were going down Shelburne Road, and there was a badger on the footpath. It was so yeah. unusual. So I thought, right, we put him in. So in went the Badger of Balls Bridge. Yes. He's been in ever since. Yeah, but but nobody else is inspired by people in real life. Positively not. <laughs> oh, I don't believe you for a minute. That's, that's, that's called plausible <laughs> deniability, isn't it? Yes, yes. <laughs> Would you think, I know that these are stories that you've created yourself and told to your grandkids. Would you now think, oh, has it given you confidence to think, well, maybe I'll try something else. Maybe I'll start a book that I haven't told the grandkids. That's, that's for readers out there. Uh, no, I know. Not that's, yet. That's, that's never even crossed my mind. Really? No. There's no. most people out there would I be mean, like... This, this is all as a result. I mean, when this happened at the launch of the Gay's Meaning of Life book. Mm. And uh, I was chatting to this lady. I didn't know who she was with my friend Mary McNicholas. And Mary said, Kathy should tell her stories. And I thought, well, not, not at all, not at all. <laughs> and Nikki from Gill, I didn't know she was from Gill Publishers. She said, what's it about? And I said, but it's actually a pig. He's a very nice man and pig. And she said, we'll do it. And I think <laughs> I said, you'll do what? And I think she said... We'd publish it. So yeah. it's happened. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's there's, amazing. There's people out there knocking on publishers' doors for I years. Know, I know, <laughs> I know, yes. But clearly, it's not just about who you're connected to and your connections, it's about the content. And I think it has it's to about. Stand on its own yeah, but I think it's about the trotters. fact that they were stories you came up with for your own grandchildren. So yes. they were stories that came from love and they adored. Yes, and I had to put in the, the sporty bit because they're huge into sport. Yes. You know, they go to see the dubs and they dress up and Badger Page the stripes blue for the dubs and then they also have green jerseys for the Aviva. They were there at the match on Saturday, Badger, and they came over on they the They were dart. there. Of course. They of course the they did. Of course they, they did. did. What else? What else? <laughs> well, it's, it's a fantastic uh, story, a fantastic set of stories, and uh, beautifully illustrated, as I say, by Margaret Anne as well. Absolutely. And a, a, go a gorgeous, gorgeous present, and one that will be treasured, I'm sure, for years to come. Kathleen, it's been wonderful meeting you. Lovely I've meeting really you enjoyed too. it. Thank and you thank, you thank you very much, much for coming into us and continuing success. To be here. You'll have, you'll have to come back to, to us, Kathleen, when the, uh, the next one is out. Well, we, we shall see. <laughs> thank, thank you again. Very thank much. You. Thank you. Lose yourself. In a good book. The Board Gosh Energy Book Club.